Today, filmmaker Travis Mills, who plans to make 12 westerns in 12 months next year, spends time with cinematographer Jared Kovacs, who will be the director of photography for Bastards Crossing, the first western to be filmed in January 2020. They're on location at what used to be a Pony Express station in Brookhaven, Mississippi, which will double for the actual 1874 location in Arkansas where the story took place. But as you can see, time has taken its toll and Mills will require help in restoring the site to its former glory. These three days already that I planned like more than a month ago are going comp not at all like that happens, but here's the thing, it's so much better when you're on set and you have a call sheet, everybody takes it more seriously. With this prep stuff, you know, it's like, oh, I'll show up when I show up. I mean, I made plans for weeks and then I'm like, wow, what a bunch of wasted oxygen. But the, the biggest thing we gotta do is we gotta build that platform, we gotta build the interior. This is the whole movie, everybody walks in and out of here, character after character, so. That's the most important thing. Cleaning this stuff up, I'm not too worried about. That can be done easily. It's more the building. Finally, the cavalry has arrived, it would seem. Hi, Squeeze. Hey, buddy. Hey. How's it going? Jared? Jared. 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 and Jared. Oh, I heard Jared. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. At the end of the shoot? Yeah. He can just take it all off. Is that good enough, man? You want to paint them rough? It's close. And this is But it looks more, it, the problem yeah. is it looks more new now. So we well, yeah, I know. I just cleaned it because it was yeah. painted black and that was rust, but I can make them look rusty. But this will fit with padding over his chest and I can actually put a strap around it. He's going to stab him like this. It, well, it's going to be turned around the other way. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we just have to sell the angle. Yeah. Look. So falls, I thought he was no, doing no, no, it sideways. No, no. Well, we're talking about, so the sideways thing is still a possibility, right? Okay. But, in order to do. But so he he lands, the, the prospector gets knocked back on the table. Yeah, and then this will go through the table on the, on the down side. Like it went all the way through his body and stick out and got blood dripping off there. It'd just be a shot coming down, a cut, a shot of him laying on the table with that on, and then a shot underneath. Or you might be able to get one shot with. He's telling us how to, how to edit. <laughs> yeah, that's what you got to tell him to keep my mouth shut. I'm bad. I mean, I'll tell you what I think. He's right got now. a lot of ideas. I think ago. that we should explore the idea of the table. The reason I like that idea is that it's realistic that we would see the pick th come through the bottom, and it's preserving the idea that Joe had in the script of it still being down without it being the floor. Okay. Also, it might be kind of interesting that that's part of the table from then on. That okay. like the hole right. with like some blood staining is like there. Or sure. he covers it up or something. Sure. I did something like Just this with a knife. Yeah. 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 All right, so let's 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 refocus. So, I'm gonna call Damon, and I want to see how far he's out because he's got the generator. Which oh hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> which you should have done. Which you really should have done. I'm three miles. If you were clever, and just, told you should no, no, no you should have you, you, you should have like hidden really quick behind the corner, corner, and then I call, <laughs> and you're like, I'm not gonna be able to make it, Travis. <laughs> you screw like, with me, and then just tap done. me on the shoulder. Okay, perfect. So we can bring the generator up here, which means we can get that work light going in there. And when I was attending my senior year of high school, uh, my film program, the teacher there invited three local filmmakers to talk to us, and he was one of those actually. And I mean, I went up to I went up to each of them, and I introduced myself at the end of our class and all of them gave me their cards and I followed up with them and he was the only one to respond. He is a leader, but he, he's a leader that uh, 
and I'll, I'll talk a lot. I have my ideas the way things ought to be. But he listens to people and he's not set in his ways. He's not in the box. If you got something that doesn't work right or you got a better way, so far it seems like he'll listen. It's a little vacation for me. I don't do this for a living. Uh, I just volunteer once in a while for Travis and uh, thought I'd help out. It'd be a good opportunity. I attended one semester of college in a film program and he actually texted me and he said, hey, do you want to come work on Porches and Private Eyes? And that was in the middle of my semester. And I said, yeah. And I was going to stay there only for half of the production to go back to attend my classes. Yeah. And when I got out there, I was like, no, I'm staying. I'm staying out here. So I emailed my teacher. I'm like, listen, I can't, I can't come back. I'm going to finish this production. I'm learning so much please understand and he's like okay well I'll give you a D on this assignment instead of failing here I was like well uh, that sealed the deal for me and I after that semester I finished that semester and then I just never went back my career is in in IT and we're all about efficiency so um, when I see someone like Travis I can recognize when you know that they're, they're gonna you know get through it and find all the shortcuts but still uh, make an amazing product because uh, you know, it's always amazing to me what he can turn out with such a small budget and such a small crew. Um, I've been on uh, a couple films that have been large productions, Hollywood productions with maybe 50, 100 people on set, and sometimes I can't tell the difference in the end result between their movie and his. I found people like working for him, like working with him, and uh, I'm excited to get started on this. First one starts January. Bastard Crossing. Because originally, you know, we talked about we, talk, we need to make this doorway, you know, tall enough. After three days, Travis Mills and his team of volunteers successfully rebuild the Pony Express Station in Brookhaven, Mississippi. This exercise and outcome bodes well for 2020's 12 Westerns and 12 months, which is just a month away. <laughs>